you know, obviously when you get to this sort of stage a few days in from the final, you're, you're just looking your team to be ready and prepared and, and, and not to have a lot of nerves leading up to a big game because there's a big crowd in, there's a big atmosphere. Cup final day, a lot of glitz and glamour colour around this game, a lot of noise, a big build up to the game. And you've got to make sure your team's ready to play. You know, you're here to play football. Ultimately, there's a, there's a big prize in the line. It's been a tough path for both teams. I think there's massive credit there for Balamine in particular. You know, the result against Lord in the Irish in the semi-final was was really comfortable. And to be honest, not many expected it. So great credit where it's due. They perform brilliant, and they'll take that as a great motivator going into the final. They know that any team can win a cup final. Once you reach it, it's it's 90 minutes of football and anything can happen. So they'll be looking for a wee bit of revenge, I'm sure, because of last year. But we know what we need to do. We know the quality that we we'll have and, and the experience within that. So we'll go in confident knowing that if we prepare right and we're, we're fully fit and focused, then we can go and get the right result. Yeah, it's good. It's probably getting to the stage now where you're, when you come to the days like this, you just want to be coming here for the final on Sunday and you know everyone's looking forward to it so much um, such a good occasion a repeat final of obviously a really dramatic final last year so um, lots of added spice to it but certainly from our own perspective we're just focusing on ourselves and making sure that we're right for the big day. Well it's, look it's it's something there's a huge mutual respect between us uh, a great friendship over many many years we played here at Windsor Park together as youngsters and, and, and now we come through this whole journey together as managers and, and, and then we go into you know two Irish Cup finals in a row uh, where we get to, to do this so so it's good for both of us and, and listen uh, I have just so much admiration for the man he's just a, a, a great great person and a great guy um, so uh, but that all goes out the window <laughs> on Harry's Cup final day. Both teams will be will fighting hard to win it and, and we'll give ourselves uh, that space to be able to, to prepare the team to go and do that. But we'll, I'm sure when that final whistle goes, we'll have the, the usual respect as we always do and, and that's just part and parcel of the game. Yeah, look, it's it's such an, a special occasion, but for, for players to reach the Irish Cup final, knowing what, what lies ahead if they win, European adventure, their families, their friends all come out and support. But anyone who's a fan of the Irish League should realistically be looking at, at this occasion and, and wanting to be there. The crowd last year, I think several thousand attended. I think it was about seven and a half, eight thousand. You would expect after now COVID behind us that that group will grow. Um, but we certainly on our end know the support that we get. And it's phenomenal and we can't thank them enough because they really are the 12th man at times. Hopefully they all come out in their numbers and it's a, it's a really good occasion for everybody. No, it's been fantastic and the Irish Cup doesn't need any more you know, prestige than it already has. You ask any player, it's a Premier Cup competition that everyone wants to win and it's just great now, as you rightly mentioned, there's been a few years sort of where different, different restrictions and whatnot, but it seems to be back to normal now and showpiece final between two good teams with a big crowd in and certainly be a, a great atmosphere and, and that's the occasions you want to play in as a player and you want to be a part of.